with those multi-hits as well to break through Rios. Down. It's it's a matchup where the first 30 seconds are determine the outcome of the set of the game, but you still have to play the full five minutes. Oh yeah. They had a much different story though. Mm -hmm. You can play much more patiently, throw out some guns. You you can you can actually like contest from a range, unlike uh, Ryu, and that and your uh, your conversions are going to be explosive at every single step of the way. Exactly. Uh, and of course, we have a Ooh, lot of very uh, great grab there, showing that Bayonetta knowledge of being able to grab Bayonetta's slide after you shield the first hit. Oh, getting themselves the afterburner kick on that Smashville platform, not able to keep things rolling from there though. Trying to find where Fade was going to fade back to. Doesn't find it. Fade, meanwhile, getting himself in up air. A lot of single hits from both of these players right now. Still just poking around in neutral, but not able to get much going on either uh, either of their DIs. Fade doing a lot of just running right behind Locus and then just charging up a spin. Oh, that Could might do it. Yep. Yes. Fade was not able to SDI out of that situation. Locus getting himself. And that's the sort of thing, finding yourself in up air into a clean tower combo. Very nice. And right off that, oh my god, Loka's looking for kills oh, already. Oh, unfortunately, SD slides a little bit too much to the left. Afterburner kick, yep. And here we go, though. Another situation, but Fade managing to get a little bit too far away on the right side. Fade trying to mix up his ledge get-up options right now, but Loka's doing a very good job of catching every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Racking up damage with these burns. Finally, Fade managing to touch solid ground. He's got 87% he needs to make up, and he doesn't get the chance. He's going to eat that which time. Oh, managing to air dodge just before the afterburner kick. Interesting option for Lucas. They're waiting it out. Fade just waiting for his Ooh. moment. His spot dodge, though, is going to be caught by that back down. air. Lucas right now content to just stick to uh, poking pressure, right? Not looking for anything too big. Recognizing he's got a 17% lead. So as soon as he finds the next back air, it's going to kill. If he finds an F throw, it's going to kill. And he has the threat of which time on his side. So he'll leverage that lead, which is, I mean, that's the main thing. As a player who has trouble against Sonic, like, that's what you want in your next character pick, right? Is like, yeah. I want to be able to threaten and keep the pressure on him at all times and ask all of these challenging questions. The other interesting thing that I hadn't, I haven't seen many Bayonettas do, I yeah. often see them land with the, with the burn, with the afterburn kick going down um, at the angled direction, but he did a reversed one and use it as a spacing tool to get a back air as well a little bit earlier. Oh, nice. That's always a really interesting option. So I haven't seen it be reversed on it too much. And Bayonetta's jab combo always doing so much damage. Especially if you hold it all the way through. I mean, that was the shortest hold, yes, and it's exactly. still at 14%. Normally, it's like 26, I think. I mean, it makes sense to do the short hold, right? You, you, if you respect your opponent's ability to SDI, you're like, okay, I don't want to leave that open as a possibility. Yeah. I want to end this as fast as possible. They're doing a better job racking up some damage now. He's taking some himself, and he's getting caught up right now. Oh, this, this could be, be it. it? Yeah. Oh. That's going to be it. The moment the second Witch Twist connects and the opponent has an SDI out of it, it's basically like you have one last-ditch effort of your DI out of that second Witch Twist, but it's so hard to escape at that point. You have it's, to mix up your DI all the it, way through the different Witch Twists and um, aerials. Right, yeah. You have, to, you have to be already preemptively doing it all the way at the first Witch Twist. Otherwise, uh... Uh, uh, that's like cramming for the exam, right? Exactly. Like, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta st space out your studying. You try DAing all of one way and it just won't work out for you. You'll fail. He's getting the carry up. He actually DI's down though. Good stuff to fade there, escaping that one. Oh, trying to keep this forward air string going. Finds the Witchress right afterwards and is able out. to oh, the air. Yeah. Very okay. nicely done. Locus closing out fades. Uh, tournament set, uh, winner's run, I should say, 2-0. Uh, very decisive uh, Bayonetta play as well. I hadn't seen his Bayonetta 